Once the fair value adjustments are made, we have to do the acquisition analysis. And the standards allow one of two methods to be used. Firstly, there's a proportionate method, while secondly, there is a 100% method. What we'll be having to look at here is the proportionate method. So, as I said, once you've made the fair value adjustments, and we've just done that, what we have to do is calculate the parent's interest in the pre-acquisition equity. So whereas what we'd normally do with a 100% um, ownership situation is just look, look at here is the pre-acquisition equity, compare that to the consideration amount and that is your goodwill or bargain purchase. In the proportionate method, what we have to do is to take the parent's interest in that pre-acquisition equity and then compare that to the consideration amount. So in this particular example, we had $3.5 million of share capital. We had $1.6 million of retained earnings. And we have $0.7 million of fair value adjustment. Now these all sum to $5.8 million. When normally we would just compare that to the $5 million uh, that we spent, in a situation in the proportionate method, what we need to do is times all of these by 75%, which in this case is the parent's interest. And what we end up with is 2.625, we end up with $1.2 million for the retained earnings, and we end up with $525,000 for the fair value adjustment. Add these all together, and we end up with $4.35 million. We then take this number and compare that to the $5 million consideration. I'll just bring that up. And the difference is 0 